What a beautiful morning. Right guys? We decided that before we start breakfast, we're just gonna sit out in the deck a little while. Or in these guys' cases, lay out in the deck a little while. And enjoy the beautiful sky. Oh, hello there, Sterling. Good job, Roxy. Roxy went downstairs and went potty. She's going back in the house. Of course, I got Louise between my legs and Bobo. Sounds like Cheryl might be getting up. Then they all start barking. Milo's laying over there. We got to start um, raising funds for their next grooming because they're going to need it. Willard, did you get in the pond? You look awfully wet. Were you in the pond? Hey, we're not barking first thing this morning. Don't even start it, Murph. Hello, Aspen. Yes, I know you're right in my face. You were in the pond, weren't you? Oh, Willard, here's something else. Max is out with us. He is getting way more social in the last couple weeks. Uh, stay out of my coffee. Thank you. Let me see. Harley's out. Yeah. Well, hello there. How are you today? Huh? How are you today? Everybody coming to give mom some attention? Thank you. Did you all sleep well last night? Did you all sleep good? Hi, I know you slept good. You were right beside me, weren't you? Yes, you always sleep right beside me. And who else do we have here? There's Dolores, Snickers, Moose, Max, Juno. Goodness, the whole crew's out here this morning. PB, of course. Hi, PBs. What, Professor? I know you're all so sweet. Yes. Should we go through and tell your stories? Because maybe somebody new is on and doesn't know them. So Moose and Max and Murphy over there in the back, they were in a yard for five years, never touched by a human. Their food was thrown over a fence. Their water was just continuously put in a dirty dish that just kept filling up. From what I hear, it was just slimy green. Um, there were four of them. The fourth one got to the shelter but died within I think a week of being there and these three were not doing well in a shelter of course so they came to second chance now Murphy came around first this one he's mostly blind but he's sweet Moose finally decided he liked being petted and hanging out with us and Max is still a work in progress. He he is now on the porch with us. I used to say his name and he would immediately go running in the house. So he's getting somewhere. So that's those three. Um, Scooter over there in the end, that little white one. He is less, he's probably about a year old now. At six months, he was taken to the shelter because he bit the little boy. Now, if you saw a picture of the little boy, I don't know. I probably would have bit him, too. And the story is always the same. The child wasn't doing anything, and the dog just ran up and bit it. Well, you and I know that's not the case. Um, somebody did something. So, the, if the little boy was just sitting, Scooter jumped up on the chair out of nowhere and just bit him in the face. You and I know that didn't happen. He has never tried to bite any of us. We can take chicken out of his mouth, which I don't want you to do but when we're testing to push buttons just to see what would happen uh, he has no reaction to that whatsoever because he did bite a little boy I'm not gonna put him with any kids that's for sure but his best friend in the whole world is Harley and Harley's not here right now I he must went in the house or she must have went in the house for a drink so we're trying to find somewhere with a fence yard that would take them together um, next to scooter is Prince Prince lived in a house I know I'm talking about you they paid a lot of money for him and then decided that he barked too much. And honestly, they were not dog people. So he was in a crate almost 20 hours a day until he was eight months old. And then they went to the next door neighbor and said, we don't want this dog. Get rid of it. And uh, the neighbor's a big supporter of ours. So I could not say no, even though we usually take only senior dogs. So we brought Prince to live with us. Now, he can be a little bit of an alpha. He should not be an only dog because he would be a dog then that would not get along with dogs at all, and that's not okay. And he can't be with somebody that he can totally push around, but he also cannot be with another alpha dog that uh, it would just be constant fights. So, Charlie. This is Charlie. Charlie's daddy got sick and had to go to a nursing home. Yeah, and 
So Charlie had nowhere to go. So Charlie came to us. Very sweet. Charlie's old. Um, he loves it outside. He just loves the field. So when it's nice in the evenings, Charlie will choose to sleep on the deck out under the stars, huh? Him and Lita. He's a good boy. Okay. Uh, who do we got here? Oh my goodness. Dolores. Dolores is our old lady. Um, was in a, oops, sorry, now Cheryl is definitely coming down. Dolores was in a trailer with 10 other dogs, 10 cats, birds, and bunnies. Um, we got her and two of her other co-partners. Unfortunately, Dolores has cancer and it is in her lungs, so she is a hospice case here, but she is a doll baby. Likes to play, gets a little rough with some of them, but thank God she doesn't have many teeth. Uh, who do we got here? Snickers. Isn't Snickers adorable? Snickers came to us with absolutely no hair. None, huh? Lived with an elderly couple in York who couldn't afford to take care of him. And here when we got his blood work and stuff, he had no thyroid left. So we have been working on his thyroid issues and that has allowed him to get some of his hair back. Huh? It's a slow growth process, but it's coming. So Snickers is a really good little boy. He's got really sharp teeth, so you don't try to feed him his meds right from your fingers. That doesn't work. Huh. PB. PB's uh, 13. Oop, oop. PB and her counterpart, Jelly, were um, allowed to just run the streets. Jelly has obviously been hit by a car or trauma. I don't know of what kind, but his whole back end is, if you see an x-ray, just, just a hot mess. Um, so they are at the sanctuary. Huh, PB likes it. She's my desk partner. Who do we got here? Simon. Simon. Simon came with Allie and his mommy, Sandy. There were seven of them. We adopted out four. They all passed away. Um, they have a immune disorder that seems to be brought on by stress. And therefore, none of them will be adopted out. The three of them will live their life at the sanctuary. And uh, they're not complaining at all. They love it here. Uh, who do we got? Taylor. Taylor is a sweetie. She's a youngin'. Um, but she has a urinary incontinence problem. So she drips 24-7. Now. She hates diapers, so putting a diaper on her and getting her to keep it on is a nightmare. Um, and they're either shredded or they're just ripped off. Thank God at the ranch, it doesn't matter because we're a sanctuary for seniors, so we're used to, like, little pee problems, aren't we? Yeah. So Taylor will probably live out her life here, but she also is not complaining because she loves to run in the big fields. Uh, there's Haley, Harley. That is Scooter's counterpart, as you can see. Um, they spend their days romping in the field and just beating on each other. It looks like they're killing each other, but man, that's how they play and they, they enjoy each other. That's for sure. Professor. <laughs> Professor was found by the side of the road. He had no fur. It was raining. They thought he was a dead rat. Thank God they stopped to check on him and lo and behold, he was a living dog, so they took him to the shelter, which immediately took him to the animal hospital. Hey, we're done. No playing up here. Go downstairs and play. Haley, Harley, Scooter, downstairs in the, ah, down the field if you're going to play. Harley, Harley, Scooter, what did I say? Da, Scooter. Oh, you can see how well they listen to me. Um, anyway, when they got to the animal hospital, they said, what's his name? Of course, the shelter staff said, well, we don't know. And they said, we're, they told him the story about the people thinking he was a rat. And they named him Professor Ratigan. So, we don't call him Professor Ratigan, but we do call him Professor. Right, Professor? Professor, that's your toy. You don't have to growl at them. Thank you. And, uh, he's done really well. Oh, hello, Jill. Do you want your story told, huh? Well, Jill came with Jack because their mommy died suddenly out of nowhere. Local, I think, in Lancaster. Yeah. And uh, so they live at the ranch. We said we would not separate them. Jack is 15 and a half. He's an old boy. But he's a Jack Russell. Imagine that. His name is Jack. But 
He's doing really good. And Jill is just a super sweet, sweet girl. Aren't you? You're super sweet. I know. Uh, who else do we have? <gasps> Hi there, Lita. Hi. Lita's mommy has to mo had to move in with family, and they wouldn't let her have Lita. So Lita came to the ranch, and guess what? Lita loves the ranch, don't you? Yes. She likes all her petting and all her attention from different people that come, but she loves being outside. Yes. She loves being outside. So a lot of times, she sleeps outside with Charlie. Huh? You guys sleep outside together. Yes. Are you checking her ears? Okay. All right. I think that's all my storytelling. I think everybody, I told everybody's story that's out here. Oh, maybe not you. This is Willard. We love Willard. Willard's six, but he has um, Cushing's. So he takes very expensive medicine every day. Yeah. Um, usually once they're diagnosed with that, they have a two-year lifespan. We're going to hope he gets more than that, but um, that's his deal. And of course we have Zebra. Hi, ZB. ZB, am I talking about you? I know I am. I'm talking about you. Hello. <laughs> Zebra's our, our resident um, upstairs cat. Everybody just adores Zebra because Zebra loves everybody and wants cuddled. So she's a lot of fun. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there, Tony. Hey. Oh, Lita, you scared me. No, Lita does bark a lot. Tony. Hi. Tony came with Peaches. Um, his owner was had some mental issues and was throwing them, literally tossing them out the door. And finally, the neighbors um, called authorities. And uh, so Tony and Peaches came to live with us. Mm, they're good little girls. Or, one's a girl, one's a boy. Hey. Hey, Carmi. Say hi, Carmi. Look, Carmi doesn't have a ball in her mouth for once. Yeah, no ball, or his mouth. No ball in your mouth. As you can tell, it's hard to take pictures because they all want attention this morning. Um, Carmi's mom passed away in, I think, South Carolina. And they found Carmi laying in bed with her four days later. So, a niece brought Carmi to PA. But, unfortunately, her dog did not like Carmi at all. And her dog was a pit bull. So... She called us to see if we would take Carmi. Now, Carmi has um, a pretty bad seizure disorder, but as long as we keep his meds tweaked and we don't let him get overly stimulated, he gets to throw his ball five times and then he has to stop for an hour or so. He does pretty good. Yeah. Okay, now this makes me just want to cry out of sheer joy, okay? Because Max has not been one to play in the yards at all, and he's out there with sparkles. That is so awesome to me. What you doing, Max, sir? Max, you having fun? Hi! <laughs> what are you doing, Sparkles? Huh? I see that tail. I see that tail. Are you chasing cars? Are you chasing cars? God knows you're not finding rabbits. We don't have any. <laughs> oh, look at Max running. Oh, this is the miracle of the ranch. It is so very, very cool. All right, so I will leave you guys all go. I told you all the stories of everybody out here except Milo. Most people know Milo. See, Milo came back to us after his owner died. When you're, when you're older, please don't get a puppy. You set him up to have to start all over again. That's not quite fair. Um, so Milo came back here, and I don't think he ever knew how to play because I think all he did was sit on someone's lap. Well, I know that's what he did. So he had to start all over, and he learned to play, and he's just an amazing little dog now. We love him. Uh, please don't drink my coffee or eat my yogurt. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys all go, but your support is how we can do this and take care of all these puppies, right? And I'm going to let them go play, and I'm going to eat my yogurt, and you have a fantastic day. We love you. Bye.